Hello, everybody. It's me, Tracy, again. I know I ain't been on here for a minute, but I'm going to do a DIY on rolling tray part two. I've done these rolling trays for some time now. They are a big seller. They come with the five-piece sets and everything. And um, here's my pan. Here's the picture that I print out by Marty. And I'm going to show you how I do this picture without having this square effect inside the pan. Because that's not cute. So, thanks for liking my channel. Thanks for subscribing. Please join my Facebook group. Me and Denise's Facebook group, Crafting Together as One. Hit me up on Facebook Messenger when y'all see my other videos, when y'all need some pictures and you just need some, some conversation or in some inspiration or, you know, just a little motivation. You can call me. I'm always available to talk. So, I have the pan. I have the picture. So, first we're going to start with the picture. Everybody... Square pictures, I don't like square pictures in my pan. It looks square. I don't like it. So, I'm going to show you how I do my pans. I cut my edges off. See? I like to round my edges because the pan is round. I mean, you put in a square picture in a round pan. But the picture should be rounded. Just like the pan. So there you go. So now when you put it in here, see how the, the effect is a little bit different? It's rounded. It's not so much of a squareness, which you don't which you don't want. It's the squareness look. So just round it up nicely. So you're gonna take some Mod Podge. You know my favorite Mod Podge, my go-to. I got a three-gallon jug of it. So we're gonna put this down here. Little Mod Podge at the bottom, just to keep it steady. You don't have to put a whole lot. You don't want it lumpy at the bottom. So I'm put the Mod Podge down here. Stick my picture. Now my other rolling tray set was the was the eight piece set. It was an eight piece set, but that was came with the flask and everything. These don't come with the flask. This is the basic rolling tray set. So, there's the Mod Podge at the bottom. I'm going to put the picture down here. Center it where you want it. So we give it a little bit of time to dry and I'll be right back. All right. So my picture is on the pan. I, it's still silver. Now we're going to spray paint it. And when you when you do other colors, you can use the colors of the spray paint that you have. So I got some black here. And I'm just going to spray around the edges. And I'm also going to spray along the edge of my picture. Because you want the picture to look like it's faded in. I want to buy me an airbrush. But the spray paint is all I have right now. Airbrushes are very expensive. Alright, so. So you see how I look. You see how the squareness of the picture is gone? The spray paint is has covered it up. And once you put the resin on it, you won't see none of that outside layering. You won't see none of that. All right, I'm going to make upstairs because it's cold outside. So back upstairs now. The picture's been, it's been sprayed. Oh, something got on there. It. Maybe you won't see that much. Okay. So, here's the effect that we're going with. That look of 
the shadow of the spray paint around the tray. I don't spray paint my trays before that. I wait and do it afterwards. So I went downstairs to get some of the other trays that I've done. This is one of the Steelers. Got the light shining in the background. Hold on. So this is the Steelers one I did. I went a little crazy with the red spray paint because it's only supposed to actually run around the edges, but it's still good. You still can see the images is coming out. It's just, I went crazy with the red. I was trying to do the red and black thing, but that's one of them. They still like it. It's still going out for sale. It's still going out to, to the new people. And then I did the um, football mascot. And you see how he, this picture has been cut out. I cut the picture out with the scissors. And you see I sprayed all around the edge to make it look like he was popping out of this tray. Look, he's coming out of the tray. So they, they like that one. And then I did this one. This one was a nice big seller for me. It's the High Life. A lot of people ask for these. And you can see around the edge where I sprayed it with the black. You can't tell that I put a picture in here. It's basically looking like the picture is just sitting inside the resin. So this is my DIY picture uh, uh, rolling tray part two. That's how I look. And then I did Jamaica, because my husband's from Jamaica, so I always try to include Jamaica in, because he has a lot of friends that obviously use rolling trays. <laughs> so you see how the black is blended in? You can't see the paper where the paper begins. You can't see where the paper begins. You can't see where the paper ends. You see how I look? That's how I look. So... The resin has been mixed up. The resin has been poured. Now I'm going to show you the finished product for the rolling tray. So I found these little jars. I found these at my Dollar Plus store. You know, nice out there. It was clear. And the top part was clear. So I just spray paint the bottom of it with the spray paint. And then I... I took a picture and I measured the size and then I printed out on the Cricut machine. And then I traced it and put it on here and I put resin on top of it. So this is dry already, there's resin on top of that. And then I have a lighter to come with it. And then I took the same picture and I put it in the bottom of one of these metal ashtrays after I sprayed the whole thing. So. This is a simple DIY when it comes to these trays. It's a simple DIY when it comes to these trays. You basically just spray around the edges. to spray around that edge to give you that look of like it's settling in the inside. And um, there you go. I hope y'all like my video. Please give me a, a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. I have more than 50 videos on it already in the last three months or so. Three to four months. About three months. Um, I have uh, um, about more than 50 some videos. If you hit the notification bell, you will be able to see all the videos I've done. Um, there's more videos to come. Some other things I want to try. Somebody requested for me to try uh, keychains with the Cricut machine, which I've never done because I purposely bought a glow for it, so I won't have to do all that leg work of uh, pasting all those pictures together. But I will be trying that. I'm going to work tonight for my two days, so if y'all need any conversation at the at work, you can hit me up. You know, if you need any pictures, you have to subscribe to my channel. You have to let me know that you subscribe to my channel for the pictures okay the pictures are only for subscribers so if you subscribe you can have all the pictures you can have conversation you can have one-on-one -on -one conversations with me um i'm very supportive when it comes to that i like to do surprise video calls and talk to people i haven't been on there in a couple of days because um 
I've been busy with my pop-up shops, and I'm going to be due twice a month. I'm doing one on the 22nd. So, these are what you need. I found these little ashtrays at the Dollar Plus stores. Get a little cup and put a picture on it. And use the same picture and give them a lighter. I live in this na the neighborhood I live in. A lot of people smoke, so I might set my table up outside one of these days. Like, yo, all y'all smokers come over here and spend some money. Everybody around here smoke, smoke, smoke. There's a lot of smoking going on around this neighborhood. <laughs> yee. All right, join the Facebook group, y'all. I've been lurking and watching and looking at y'all stuff. I've just been a little bit busy. I actually took a break. When I tell you I took a break, I took a break and went to Landy City with my sister for Mother's Day. We went down there. It was very, very, very cold. But we still played at the casino. We walked around. And it was nice getting out of the house. And this actually been my first time going away and doing anything outside of my house since pandemic started. I don't do that. We don't go to bars. We don't do nothing. I will go grocery shopping, craft shopping, and that's it. I actually went to Atlanta City. New Jersey has opened all the way up. Like, they not playing. You put your mask on, you go. When I tell you that casino was full up, the hotel was full up. But I had my mask on because I ain't trying to catch that, carrying on like that. But subscribe to my channel, y'all. Hit me up. Make some of them D-bills. Y'all been doing really good. I got some beautiful work. Bye.